This is it, man. It's your time. This is your moment. You've been praying for an opportunity. Here it is. You're about to walk into that season of your life. I just hope you're ready for it. The odds of you being on this earth is one in 400 trillion. So you were chosen to be here. The only difference between you and the person who is going after their purpose is the choice of being chosen, believing that they are chosen. Those who are great are those who choose to be chosen. Discipline is rooted in the truth we tell ourselves. That, that's what it is. Discipline is rooted in the truth we tell ourselves. Because if you tell yourself the truth, if you tell yourself the truth, and the truth is, I'm not happy with where I'm at. That's the truth. The truth is, I can do more. The truth is, I can do much better than I'm doing right now. And if that's the real truth, if that's what you believe, if you believe that to be the truth, you won't have to find more discipline discipline will find you if you value your goals you need structure you need a routine that gives you the best possible chance at achieving them whatever it is for you find a way to start your day that makes you feel your best there's a good chance you already know what that is and it's likely something hard that you'd rather put off you will always fall into a routine you either create one or it will be handed to you. You choose. You don't have the answers and it's probably pretty damn scary. And I say that's okay, because that is how it is. <laughs> this is the reality that many of you are facing. This is the world that we live in. In a world filled with noise, your voice, your actions, and your decisions have the power to carve out silence. A silence in which you can find your true self and your path to success. It's easy to get lost in the crowd, to follow the well-trodden path, but your journey, it's unique. It's not defined by the cacophony of doubts and fears but by your ability to rise above it. Embrace the solitude of ambition. Let it be your guide in the chaos. Remember, the tallest trees grow in the deepest silence. Feelings are like waves in the mind and you just want to just be with them. You want to be in the misery. You want to be in the pain. You want to be in the emotional suffering. Just be there without any resistance, as if you're letting waves just move through you and watch it, stay with it, and they will dissolve. Like waves dissolving back into the ocean, the feelings will dissolve into the mind. Your gift will make room for you, and in time, that room will be large enough to stand in, and then the room will be filled with people, and then the people filled with your light, and when they leave, they take that light with them. You see, your light, when confined to you, only goes as far as you can travel. But sharing your light with one other person, two other people, three other people, now that, that might just change the world. You're going, right? Where you're destined to go, it's not supposed to feel good all the time. It's not supposed to be easy. You know, so when you're going through seasons of discomfort, seasons of feeling overwhelmed, feeling pulled in a lot of different directions. Understand that it's a part of you getting to the place that you want to be, you getting to the best version of yourself. It's all playing a role. And you know, like that vision that you have for yourself, you know, the, the dreams and the aspirations you have for yourself, like they're not easy to attain. Like some people's expectations, their belief systems are, life should be taking care of me. Uh, I got to show people that life is calling to you. You need to deliver something to life because as long as you're waiting for somebody to take care of you, then you're always the victim. You're always waiting. Whereas if you think that I'm here to deliver something to life, I have a responsibility to life to give something, not just get something. That's when people feel alive because what you get never makes you happy. Don't walk through the world looking for evidence that you don't belong because you will always find it. 
Don't walk through the world looking for evidence that you're not enough because you'll always find it. Our worth and our belonging are not negotiated with other people. Persevere. Nothing worthwhile is easy. No one of achievement has avoided failure, sometimes catastrophic failures. They keep at it. They learn from mistakes. They, they don't quit. You were given a gift, but let me tell you right now, it comes at a cost. Your gift is not free. What's the cost? You have to work for it. You have to work at it. You have to manifest it. You have to grow it. You have to get better at it. You have to get better at sharing your gift. You have to cultivate your gift so much that you can share it. Your God-given gift doesn't guarantee that you will succeed. It just guarantees you an opportunity. And let me tell you what an opportunity you have. Your potential is like that tree waiting to rise above the noise, to reach heights unseen. This is your moment to tune out the distractions, to focus on what truly matters, your growth, your journey, your impact, your success. Rise above the noise and let your actions declare to the whole world your purpose. And so what's the point of climbing this mountain that the world says we should climb in order to be successful and happy and realize at the end of a career, at the end of a life, we've climbed the wrong mountain.